Welcome to FlavorDB 2.0. FlavorDB has been designed to be an exhaustive resource of flavor compounds. Despite its intention, FlavorDB 1.0 was lacking in some of the molecular attributes that are critical when it comes to flavor compounds. FlavorDB 2.0 accounts for all of these molecular attributes and has been now expanded to account for these factors which are rather critical when it comes to flavor compounds. These factors and attributes include a wide variety of nomenclatures. One of the problems in dealing with flavor molecules is a large number of nomenclatures, diverse nomenclatures which are used while naming them. FlavorDB 2.0 accounts for those. Flavor description, regulatory status, safety status, taste and aroma threshold values, the occurrence of these flavor compounds in various natural compounds, natural ingredients, the composition, consumption statistics, specifications, reported uses in variety of food categories of these flavor compounds, as well as the mode of synthesis of the flavor molecules. All of these factors have been accounted for in FlavorDB 2.0. FlavorDB 2.0 maintains some of the critical features that were present in 1.0, such as the molecule of the day, which features one molecule on any given day, the flavor network, which depicts the complexity and the overlap of flavor profiles across close to around 1000 ingredients and the flavor profile overlap that they are having as shown in the network based picture here. Uh, going further, FlavorDB also maintains, apart from the basic and advanced searches, it also maintain, maintains the visual search component. The visual search provides an hierarchical way of looking at flavor compounds present in natural ingredients. On top layer, you are having a list of ingredient categories as shown here. If you were to click on one of these categories such as fruit, it will open up all the ingredients of that particular category. Now let's look at one of the examples, let's say durian, and look at all molecules that are reportedly found in durian. And it provides us information of the ingredient the natural source, its scientific classification, uh, option to do the food pairing or flavor pairing for a given ingredient, downloading the data, apart from a table of all the molecules that are present in this ingredient. Now, if you were to click on one of the uh, more info button against one of these molecules, you will end up getting an exhaustive information of flavor compounds as presented here. Beyond what FlavorDB 1.0 had to offer, this particular molecular attributes uh, tab has been enriched with a huge amount of additional information. It provides you with nomenclatures such as common name, IUPAC, SMILES, empirical formula, FEMA number, CAS number as the one of the primary keys that are used for flavor molecule representation their flavor profiles, taste profile, odor profile, as well as the functional groups that are known to be presented in these molecule. Not to mention, it also presents you with two dimensional picture and a provision of looking at this compound in its three dimensional uh, space, as well as finding compounds that are similar within FlavorDB, as well as externally, such as that of zinc. Uh, resource. Now, beyond giving links to external resources where this molecule has been listed, we have now provided you with a variety of information that was not present earlier. Now, let's look at what is new in FlavorDB 2.0 when it comes to molecular attributes. Nomenclature going beyond the basic parameters and basic nomenclature provides us with a variety of synonyms that are known to be present for a given flavor compounds and lot of these uh, nomenclatures such as CAS number, FL number, FEMA number, NAS number, COE number, INEC number, INEX number and JECFA number. Importantly, we have also made these fields searchable, thereby making it easier for anybody to reach 
to a flavor compound starting from any one of these nomenclatures. Going beyond that, the description field such as this one provides the information of the physicochemical nature as well as the odor and the taste um, of the compound. The regulatory status field provides information related to the safety and usage of this molecule at different quantity and concentrations, not to mention its nature identical or artificial or uh, status. Aroma and, and taste threshold values provide the taste and aroma of this compound at different concentrations such as for example for this compound the taste characteristics at 25 ppm is that of cooling camphorous minty with a clean eucalyptus note. Natural occurrence going beyond what the flavor DB 1.0 had to present to you provides a searchable field of all the natural ingredients in which this molecule is reported uh, to be found. Going beyond that, we also provide information of annual as well as individual consumption of this compound. Specification field provides details such as physical properties of uh, the compound including angular rotation, refractive index, assay, solubility and such many other details that are critical when it comes to specifying the compound. The reported uses field importantly provides what are the different ingredient categories such as alcoholic beverages, gelatins, puddings, baked goods, hard candy etc. for this compound uh, which in uh, these are the categories in which this compound has been used. So there is a, a long list of uh, such categories, food categories in which a molecule can be used. Not to mention it also adds information of what is its usual consumption versus what is its maximum consumption. And finally, it also provides you us with information of the synthesis of the compound. Uh, in this case, it mentions that this compound is produced by hydrogenation of thymol. Again, this field is also searchable. So as you can see, FlavorDB 2.0 has been expanded in a significant manner to provide the flavor molecules attributes that were not present earlier. Going back to the search field, let me show you that the search field has been expanded now to provide not only the drawing based search which is available here through the JSME molecular editor, uh, the common names which are added beyond common name you have now FEMA number and cast number search. Uh, we have searched by functional group molecular attributes as well as the flavor attributes, the flavor profile and FEMA flavor profile. The description of the molecule field is completely searchable both by using AND as well as OR operators. Regulatory status such as whether the molecule is artificial, whether it is nat natural, nature identical and the COE status such as whether it is approved, whether it is used provisionally and such. Uh, not to mention the trade association guideline uh, about what is the quantity with which uh, this molecule is reported to be used. Natural occurrence about what are the natural ingredients in which this molecule is found. Aroma and taste threshold values are also searchable field. Synthesized by you can find out what are the synthesis mechanisms as well as the primary molecule from where this compound can be synthesized by uh, as well as food category. Let me show you a couple of these searches and so that I can illustrate you about how this works. Uh, let me go by FEMA number and start typing and it starts giving a prompt if I were to ask for a molecule. Let me pick one of these molecule 2455 and look at what molecule we get here. Well, this is it ethyl 3 phenyl propionate and that's the molecule we are having and its detail can be more details can be obtained by clicking on the more info button as we saw earlier. Going back to the search field, it allows us to also search by each one of these fields as I mentioned to you. If I were to find out for example, what are the molecules which are uh, synthesized by esterification, then I can type esterification uh, and press enter 
and that will give me a list of compounds all of those which are synthesized by esterification you can confirm by going to the more info uh, button that indeed these molecules are synthesized by esterification and finally uh, i would like to show you the advanced search field which gives us search searching facility not only on only uh, shortlisted fields but all the fields such as that of the molecular nomenclatures you can search by any one of these functional group flavor molecule and rest of them as you saw in the basic search field so flavadb 2.0 to highlight once again uh, is a comprehensive repository of flavor compounds it remains the most comprehensive repository that is available till date and provides us with an enhanced data set including molecular characteristics and searchability through flavadb 2.0